Boye Mafe is six foot four, two sixty five. This is him outside the right tackle. One of my favorite things about Mafe is his ability to time up uh, these chops, these swats of tackles' arms, and he's got a lot of power in that regard. We see it throughout the tape, uh, or we'll see that throughout the video, I think. Times that up really well. You can see him uh, lurch the tackle forward. Tackle's going to get his feet crossed up, and then he gives him a shot really to the helmet here and puts him on his butt. So a lot, a fair amount of power in his hands, but I think it comes down to timing. The tackle thinks it's fair game to trip at this point. He's coming outside the left tackle here. He times up this perfectly again. You see the power in this uh, two-hand swat. Uh, watch him wait on the tackle to shoot his arms. You can see he just doesn't, it, it isn't that he's just simply doing away with the hands. It's a lot of force generated here. Pulls the tackle down. Watch it again. Variation on that same theme. This is a very nice rush. First thing he does is punch with his inside arm. And you don't see a big wind up with the outside arm here. He really just grabs the arm and throws it aside. Again, you can see that power when he pulls his left arm away, his inside arm away, and then swims with it, gets the tackle to the ground, and he's going to finish here pretty violently. You see that arm go high. He's trying to get the football out, and again, he punishes the quarterback, finishes the job. Found it interesting that they lined him up at three tech or looked at him at three tech in the senior bowl. I could only find it once on tape at Minnesota, that's not where he's going to play, uh, but he may be able to kick inside on certain passing downs. Uh, he's part of this stunt where they bring the outside linebacker. Uh, there's the, the inside arm swim. Now watch this dip and his ability to get flat there at the end. He gets held. Looks like he gets held around the waist. But as I said, he's got some versatility in terms of him moving around and getting after the quarterback. Lined up at three tech at the senior bowl, just outside the guard. I believe that's Zion Johnson. Some shake at the line. There's that plant step outside. Gets the guard thinking that. Watch him adjust. Puts his hand, uh, inside hand to the peck of the tackle, then rips down with his outside arm. At this point, he's got him, and he's going to rip up with his inside arm. Get clear. Watch that again. Boye playing five tech here inside the tight end, outside the tackle. Good hands initially. He's reading the backfield. See him peek his head around. Uh, quarterback keeps. He's going to rip down. And you see that dip he does with his inside shoulder here and the ability to get flat towards the quarterback. He is held here a little bit. Looks like the, the tackle grabs his arm and holds on to it. Watch it again. Seems at this point, the uh, bull rush is his go-to. Uh, doesn't generate a lot of power typically, although you see a nice rush here where he continues to run his legs. Watch his eyes to, uh, to the pocket. Long arm there with his right arm. He kind of feels the, tack or the quarterback ready to peel out here, which I think is pretty unusual. And that's a good little shed, and he makes the play. Mafe does a nice job coming off this bull rush shedding, and then tracking him down. Right now, it's fair to say his primary rush is the bull rush. I'd like to see him uh, threaten outside a little bit more, uh, which is to say head up field and turn into the chest. He does tend to go head on. Uh, oftentimes, look at his feet stopped and get hung up. I do wonder about his ability to threaten outside and turn in uh, with these bull rushes. Uh, he does not seem to be able to generate a ton of power, even though his hand placement's pretty good. He could sink a little bit there, too. He's a little bit high on this particular rush. I also would like to see him develop an inside counter. It sometimes appears he comes off the line in, in a rush and does not have a plan, or, or he needs to develop the ability to, to improvise. Here he gets the tackle set outside. Uh, perfect opportunity to work inside with the back away. 
Uh, and you can see, tries to swat at the hands and kind of a run through, very, very uh, gangly approach here. Um, and again, I'd like to see him work on an inside counter. Watch it again. I do think he fits the Ravens um, outside linebacker mold. Uh, I do think he fits a few teams, Pittsburgh or Tennessee. Come to mind, you see him drop here. Uh, that's something he's pretty comfortable doing. You see it several times versus West Virginia. You get a pretty good idea watching him of how he is coached up. When the tackle goes away, you'll see him shuffle. And then how he handles pulls or kickouts to his side, uh, he's coached up to wrong arm these blocks. He does a good job here getting inside that way uh, and getting a hit on the ball carrier. Watch it again. This is Boye right here. Once again, this time versus Wisconsin. Last time was Ohio State. Tackle goes away. You see him surf. Shuffle and surf. Here comes that block, that sort of split zone that he run to his side or run at him. He's going to wrong arm this block and make a stop on the ball carrier. That's what he's coached to do. It's real apparent that that's what they want him doing with those kick out blocks. Watch it again. This is a bad look here, surrendering the edge. Pretty big play. I'm uh, just not sure if that's his job to contain uh, or how he's being coached here. Uh, in any case, he does a bad job if he is supposed to pick up this pull. And if somebody's blowing this assignment, not sure exactly. Uh, I'm not pleased with how he takes on that pull. So uh, it's possible he's meant to stay outside here on the pull as opposed to when they have a, an H back or a wing. Does not make the play here as such. It does a really nice job getting under the pads of the tight end. Very good pad level here. Rocks the tight end, locks him out with one arm. Works down the line. Yeah, he needs to be able to uh, handle tight ends easily. And you see that here. I do like Boye Mafe. I, I think he's, in some sense, a developmental player. But I don't think he's that far off as some would suppose. Uh, there's a lot of really intriguing traits or qualities about him. And I think in some sense, people are sleeping on him. Uh, I think if he's in the third round and the Ravens have not picked up an edge guy outside linebacker, he should be somebody they consider taking.